Assalamu alaikum. Today's episode is about an Indian revert sister. She was the youngest in her family of four. Born to a Hindu religious mother and a stern father, she was brought up quite strictly, meaning hugs and kisses were rare and communication was a one way street. She was raised as a Hindu, and though her family wasn't quite particular on being religious, they did try and fulfill their religious duties in a get it over with manner. And most of the time, she would be left in charge of paying respect to the Lord by placing prasad at the personal temple in their home. Education was always a priority in their household, and the two sisters would often compete to score the highest in class. She was enrolled into a Catholic missionary school, where she quickly became the most popular girl for her smart brain. The little girl was also quite a curious cat. She wanted to know everything about everything. And so when she turned 13, her only wish was to get a computer. Little did she know that her scrolling through numerous sites would one day lead her to turning her life around. How she would go from studying law to learning Arabic or how her parents would stop talking to her for five whole years. But before we get into that, let us retrace our steps back to when she was 13 and had just got herself a brand new computer. The just turned teen would google random keywords, find blog posts and read all day. One fine day, a Muslim girl was admitted into her class, and when curiosity got the best of the Hindu girl, she started asking the Muslim girl all about her religion. To her defense, she had never ever heard of the word Islam before. But to her dismay, the Muslim girl actually had little to no idea on what to answer. And it led the Hindu girl back to her computer, where she would Google the answers after school and tell the Muslim girl all about them. It became so regular that three years later, the 16-year-old Hindu girl actually knew more about Islam than the Muslim girl herself. At this point in time, she graduated from school and moved to a metropolitan city to pursue law. This is where everything changed. From growing up in a small town where life was slow to moving to a big city where a 24-hour day seemed too short. And from being the it girl at school to becoming an average Joe at college. The Hindu girl found herself quite disoriented. Unfortunately, she became exposed to bullies as well as feeling left out and discouraged. The 16-year-old immersed herself in reading books and binge-watching random videos on YouTube. One particular day, she stumbled upon Dr. Zakir Naik's Islamic lectures on YouTube and went down the rabbit hole listening to all sorts of topics by many lectures. And unknown to her, this was the start of her new chapter in life. Two years into her hideout, the young adult Hindu girl said enough was enough, and it was high time to make friends. She messaged an acquaintance at college, and they scheduled a meetup. Can you believe the landmark to meet was a masjid? Subhanallah, Allah is truly the best planner. She found a few students learning Arabic inside. And curiosity getting the best of her again, the 18-year-old went in and asked if she could join. The authorities at the masjid led her to a female teacher nearby who taught older girls. And she realized the students weren't learning Arabic. They were actually studying the Holy Quran. The Hindu girl enrolled herself in, and for the next five years, she read, understood, and learned the divine book cover to cover. Her Quran teacher would also host halakas, religious gatherings to study Islam, and gradually the Hindu girl found Iman. Now a 23-year-old full-fledged lawyer with incredible knowledge of Islam and the Quran, the Hindu girl found herself questioning, now what? Should she become a Muslim? Was she a Muslim already? What does it even take to become a Muslim? 
Well, a simple Google search told her that she would have to declare the shahada, pray five times a day, keep her fasts, dress modestly, and wear the hijab. She started praying five times a day and decided she would take up the hijab when she joined her workplace three months later. This way, nobody would question it and she wouldn't feel as uncomfortable. When it came to declaring shahada, she found that it actually wasn't compulsory in Islam to have a gathering of witnesses and that Allah is the most sufficient witness of all. So as a formality, she set her shahada in her room and officially registered as a Muslim some time later. But something was missing. She craved sisterhood and couldn't find a community that could relate to her story. She actually came to believe that she was the only person in India to become a Muslim that year. This is until our Indian sister created a blog, started writing, and received hundreds of messages from fellow Indian Muslims, who also reverted. Subhanallah. All of it fit like a puzzle. Six months in as a Muslim, the 23-year-old lawyer living in a metropolitan city decided to tell her parents and found that writing a letter explaining her story was the best, most careful option. For the most part, it was actually well-received and no backlash was heard back from them. A little while later, her mother came to stay and for the first time ever noticed how much her daughter's routine had changed. She was waking up at the crack of dawn, praying all five salahs and keeping her fasts. Surprisingly, the mother who had been strict in her parenting all her life kept her calm and all was well. Until she went home and raised a havoc with the girl's father telling him all about his daughter's Muslim lifestyle. And this is where it all came crashing down. Up until this point, they had thought it was just a phase and it would all fade with time. Naturally, they were panic-stricken, and she would receive angry calls from the parents, trying their best to convince her to revert back to her roots. But she was adamant on remaining steadfast on Islam. When nothing seemed to be going any of their ways, she decided to resign and move back to her parents' place in hopes that they'd see some good in their daughter becoming a Muslim. Unfortunately, all was in vain. Things turned for the worse and she decided it was time she found a good match for herself for life. The Muslim lawyer's father requested she give him five years of no-contact space. Seeing no other way out, she married without her parents and moved away. Five years later, she received a video call from her dad, who greeted her with a smile. He had finally come around. May Allah allow us to remain steadfast on Islam. Ameen.